tired already. Oh, oh, it's dark. Oh, I've got to do it myself. All right, at least that's done. At least I can enjoy this cup of tea. Oh, it's empty. Go get the teapot. All right, cup of tea, lights are on. Oh, check my phone. And my phone's out of charge. Okay, the charger. Just need my cup of tea. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. oh. If this is the sort of scenario you tend to find yourself in where you want to turn lights on automatically without having to leave your station, or you're trying to probe something and you need to get a cup of tea, well, watch this video because in this episode of The Gentleman Maker, we're going to be building the Posh Butler system, which is a home automation system using voice recognition. So for this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, a particle photon, a particle photon relay shield, a USB sound card for the Raspberry Pi, a microphone for the Raspberry Pi, a speaker as well as all support cables for it, and two USB-B cables for powering the photon and the Raspberry Pi. All the parts are available from, hmm. Jeeves, please play the announcement. All the parts in this project are available from DigiKey. Link in the description below. Now you are going to need to find things to control with your Butler system. Now, for example, you could use an automatic sweep delivery system, which would be pretty nice, but you could also think about using mains power devices with the use of the relay shield. Now, there are a few things I should mention about mains powered electrical devices. Don't do it unless you're absolutely competent. Mains voltage is incredibly dangerous. Of course, there are protection methods such as circuit breakers and RCDs. I can tell you from experience that if you touch mains voltage, it's going to hurt. And if you're not fully competent in what you're doing, and if you don't follow the correct safety procedures, and if your work isn't up to standard, you could have a serious incident on your hands, whether this could be the form of electric shock, which could be painful, a burn, a scar, or even death. Now, one of the really neat things about using Adafruit I.O. with Python on this Butler project is that we can control other Adafruit I.O. systems, whether it could have been earlier projects in the Gentleman Maker series, such as the Smart Brella. We could have actually tied the Smart Brella to the Butler system to tell you what the weather was like outside. You could also use it to control other photons. You could use it to control other Arduinos that are connected with an Ethernet shield. It allows for a lot of in interconnectivity, so it's something you should absolutely think about. But we don't want to spend all this video talking about death and depressing things. Let's build the Butler. So here we have the scheme schematic for the Butler system and the photon control. The Raspberry Pi is connected to a USB port for power, a speaker so that we can hear what the Butler is saying, and a USB sound card that takes input from a microphone. And on the photon control side, we have the particle photon connected to the relay board, which has four different relays for controlling four different devices. In this example, we can see how to connect up a mains power device safely to the relay board with a fuse on the live wire and then connected to the common and then using the normally open contact to control the power going to the mains power device. The Python code that runs on the Raspberry Pi is somewhat simple, and we take advantage of the Adafruit IO library for controlling the Adafruit IO feeds, and we also take advantage of Pi Game, which allows us to play sounds on the speaker very, very easily. So instead of just having one response for yes sir, I've decided to add several responses to make it a bit more interesting. And these responses have been put into a list of objects so we can reference them ambiguously. We also have some lists that hold the different objects that we could control and the states of which they could be in. Then in the main while loop, all we do is just listen out on the microphone using the speech recognition library to see if something has been said. And then if something has been said, that data is then processed. Our Butler system will only process data if it also hears system or Jeeves, which is his name. But of course, because of my accent and the fact that Google seems to be American, it doesn't think I'm saying Jeeves, it, se it seems to think I'm saying Jeeves. Before we run the main for loop, we start by splitting up the string, which is the text that we said. Then we go through each string and see if it matches a keyword. 
you'll notice that device words are matched up to action words. So it doesn't matter what order you say two words in, as long as they're in the same sentence, they will match up. So you could say turn on computer or computer turn on, they will still be considered connected together. What you couldn't do is say lights on, heater off, and expect the lights to be off and the heater on. The particle photon code is very simple, and all we have to do in the setup code is to set up the pins to be outputs. Then all we have to do in the main loop is receive the feed data from Adafruit IO and then check its state. And depending on its state, we can turn the relays on and off. So here is the first simple butler setup. On the left of me, we have the Raspberry Pi followed by the microphone and the USB sound card for the speaker. And on the right side of me, we have a radio connected to the relay board and we have an independent suite delivery system. Now, this radio is not mains powered and it's being powered by some batteries connected to the back which are put in series with one of the relays. So that way I can control when power goes to the relay. So without much further ado, it's time to test it out. Yes, system, please turn on the radio. Yes, sir. Anything else I can help with, sir? Anything else I can help with, sir? Yes. System, please give me some chocolate. Will do, sir. Anything else I can help with, sir? So in this example, not only are we controlling our suite system and our radio, but we are now also controlling a light. And this light, which is clearly underpowered, is connected to the relay board and as well as the main supply. So the main supply is being switched by the relay, which then controls the light. So let's test it out. Anything else I can help with, sir? Yes. System, please turn on the lights. Yes, sir. Anything else I can help with, sir? Yeah. System, please turn off the lights. Certainly, sir. Anything else oh. I can help with, sir? No, thank you. So the next part of this project comes down to you. Once you build the butler system, it's up to you what you make it control. So thank you for watching this episode of The Gentleman Maker and see you next time.